フルカウンター All right, lads, welcome back to the Grand Cross video, boys. Today is uh, not a good day. Um, I mean, you've seen the news, really, about the the drama with uh, the Holy War relic system be being monetized. And it's not just that. It's not about that, man. It's about everything else, really, that what Netmob was doing to where they ruined the game. And let me say this, Grand Cross is the best gacha game. It just is. I mean, what other gacha game is doing... Not only the looks really, because we're having a 3D model game that looks really, really good. Doing, you know, good combat system mechanics really. The whole, the whole idea of this game is super, super good and super true to the actual, like, the source. You know, 70S. Like, so many references, super, super good. Like... Any gacha game will be lucky to have this type of, like, or any anime will be super lucky to get this type of treatment, right? But then it's Netmarble ruining it really. And, you know, it was looking good really. We had, you know, uh, Ride the Rock basically a whole new anime in-game, a whole new story with the old character skin, which we can't see no more because the anime's ended, the manga's ended. Yes, there's a sequel with the Flawless Pocalypse, but we're not following the sins no more. Their time has done really. Yes, they may be in and out of it really, but to see, you know, Eskinor again, Merlin together, King and Diane, you know, like flirt a little bit as well and like, you know, whispering to Melio's ear and getting flashbacks to a story is really heartwarming, man. And as a massive 70s fan, like you can see on my desk, I always have this right now. It's like my favorite manga, which is, um, y you know what happens. Okay, do I show this part? Is that part there? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, listen, listen, that part, right? I actually just, like, magically opened it to that point because it, it knew what page it wanted. But, yeah, like, that, you know, I love this franchise, but just go on Twitter and to see, you know, Nagato, Speedy, and the other Grand Cross boys complain about the game, which rightfully so, it's, it's upsetting, man, because, you know, it's going to get to a point where, like, you know, people are going to leave. People have left. You know, Kabuki is kind of getting back in the swings of thing again. You know, Mystic apparently has come back today, which I can't wait for to see his video. Um, Seaton, Seaton's gone, boys. Um, <laughs> he's gone. And, um, you know, you lot know I did my rewind each year. Uh, well, I say each year. I did it last year. Going to do it again this year again. And, uh, you know, there are people. There can be people missing. You know, we're not going to see the same few people again. Yeah, there's going to be a few of us in it. But there are new people too, so that's kind of nice. So it should be a better video, but... You know, what's going to happen in the future? So let me just take this chance to thank you lot. Um, the fact that I can upload a Grand Cross video now and get more than a thousand views is, like, that's always been my goal, really. Like, it, it sounds weird, right? But every single video I do, I, I, my goal is to get a thousand, video, a thousand views. That's just it, right? So where I can actually, you know, sometimes get a thousand views in a few minutes. <laughs> Crazy sometimes, I know, hours even. You know, all my PP videos recently have been getting super, like, mega views, really, that, like, it's just unreal. You know, my memory video got 44,000 views and it's still growing. It's... Thank you a lot, man, because I've been in Grand Cross since day one, and, you know, it took me a minute. You know, I remember back in the day, in the day thinking, how is Nagato and Seat in them lot just uploading once a day? It's insane. And now here I am doing that, and, like, it's, you know, I don't want to be the only one uploading the game, you know. I think I saw C uh, Speedy and uh, Nagato say, you know, if, you know, a new gacha game comes out, they're going to probably jump on that, and, you know, they have to because, well, they are YouTubers. They want to do gacha gaming, and, you know, it makes sense to leave a game after a few years, and it's just the, the truth of it. I, 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 you know, I want to be the Grand Cross guy, but not at the point to where I'm the only one doing it, right? I want to be like, you know, Nagato level. I know he's big, dreaming big, right? But I want to be that, that Grand Cross guy. But, like, I don't want to be at the, at the cost of everyone leaving. And, you know, it's it's upsetting. Uh, it just really is, man. Now, let me say this. Grand Cross PP has been, I want to say the best ever. Can I say that? Am I going to get in trouble? Um, I hated the, the, the Perg was it the Purgatory Barn. Well, let me go back a bit. The Kingbrum, hated that meta, right? Um, I hated the Mono Red God, I hated that meta so much, man. Arthur I hated him so much. Um, you know, then we had like the Lost Fame with which you couldn't bring any red character or any green characters, so I couldn't bring my six Aaron. Then we had uh, Elizabeth and you know Gopher. That was bad as well. You know, getting rid of getting rid of through res, getting through the shield, getting through the stun as well was super annoying. Then we had Perk New Bon, which was even worse. Like he was you couldn't counter him, man. Where Margaret right now, it's Margaret draw. Go far. It's always it's always Margaret and Gopher, really. That's kind of the gimmick, really. If there isn't Margaret and Gopher, then he probably got like a full goddess team, which you can deal with quite easy, I, I could should say. And um, you know, I figure she's actually a good addition to the game. It's super super fun to play with her. Um, even if I don't wipe the whole team with her, you know, I can buff up my old character. Like Rumi Rui, like, you know, I haven't tried a blue Roxy yet, but I can buff my old characters up that I haven't used before. And um PvP of what I'm trying to get is super fun. I, I've never enjoyed PvP as much as I am right now. Maybe that's just me. Maybe it's just because I have fun. I don't take the game too seriously. I don't try and get, you know, champion one each week. I, I'm the same rank on my free-to-play account, even though I spend infinitely amount more money I, I, like on this, this global account. I just have fun. And that's kind of what I show in my videos, right? Now, um, 
the hood rule rate system, should it be monetized? Yes, it should, probably, because why not, right? But after a certain point, man, like, they, 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 after a certain point, like, they should do that. It's, it makes no sense to why do it now to where, uh, the, I mean, the only real purpose is to buff up barn, being real. Like, would, pe would you really complain about this system being monetized if it was only to buff Twiggo? No, you wouldn't. But the barn does get a massive buff, and the fact that only Warriors can get it right now is just kind of disgusting. Now, granted, if you do use Barn, you're a loser. Let me just say that. <laughs> but, you know, you get what I'm trying to say, right? Like, this old Holy Rex system should be a way to buff old units. And I'm kind of getting Legends vibe here. Maybe that's me, right? But Legends, back in the day, it was, um, they buffed old units. They, they buffed the least faith least played five characters in the game a pvp and then buffed them up into the stats and cards and all that stuff right to where then the point then he got to zenkai where they monetized the buffing system which was horrible and i'm kind of getting the same vibe here a little bit i mean after a few months when we can all defeat you know the the new stage and we can all get the materials then it'll be fine sure i mean you may never want to buy the system right you don't have to but it's just if you're aware and you want to get it done in one in one day or like one purchase you can but it's just you know the stuff they're doing is ruining the game and uh, it's, it's not just that though. It's not the that like the double festival, which thankfully, thankfully, it was only Cusack and he's on, he's not that great. Because imagine, boys, imagine if they did the one and then two weeks later, uh, Salt Melee. Like we're lucky they did that with Cusack. First, they shouldn't have made him a Q festival unit because well, they didn't make Chandler one right, so there was no need for him to be one. But you get my point. That doesn't excuse what they've done. We 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 got lucky that it wasn't a broken unit like Margaret again, but. That doesn't mean you should do that every single time. And, um, you know, it's a little bit satisfying because, like, if you look at the game, like, we're lucky to get collabs as well. We got, we're getting, you know, we got ReZero, we got Attack of Titan, we're about to get Slime Part 2, which, by the way, if you watched the episode today of the new Slime episode, or Unreal, next week is going to be a mad one. And then, uh, you know, we're going to get probably Part 2 of Attack of Titan. We're going to get a new Netflix collab, which could be, uh, I'm not going to say JoJo, maybe Shaman King. Uh, who knows what they could do, right? But... I mean, who knows what will happen, boys. Um, if a new gacha game comes out, what am I going to do? Uh, depending on what it is, obviously, I don't jump on the trend. I never jumped on My Hero because I thought the game was bad. Punishing Grey Rave, I never jumped on that either. Um, if a game comes out that I really like, I'll try and do like, a video on it or two and see what the reception is. But, you know, I'm not Nagato. I'm not speedy. I'm not going to get a lot of views. Thankfully, I'm in the anime community now. So, you know, people will have some, some interest in the video if, you know, from 70s. But... We'll see, man. Uh, but yeah, boys, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. You know, if you're not going to be here in a few weeks, if you do leave tomorrow, today, you know, in a week's time, I appreciate you coming to the channel anyway, like, from the bottom of my heart, boys. Love it, love it. But uh, yeah, I mean, I want to stay here for, like, to the end of the game. But, you know, if no one's watching, maybe I still will. I don't, I don't know, man. It's just... I don't want to be the only one. Like, the, the community feedback is what makes it fun. Watching other YouTubers, like, just seeing all the interaction with YouTube and the, the community really is sick. But then if no one's doing it, what am I doing it for, you know? I don't know. Because I, like, I love CBS, obviously, you don't know, with the franchise. It's, 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 it's heartwarming to me. But, man... Boys, we'll be back again tomorrow. Obviously, I'm not going to try to let this upset me, but hopefully things do change. They do send the patch notes as well that, you know, they lost their sense of purpose. And maybe they plan this months in advance to monetize the Holy War system. But, um, you know, if we can come back in a few days and just... I don't know, boys. It's not the end of the world. That's what I'm trying to get out, right? We, you know, we're, we're still getting good updates. Good characters coming out. The, the PvP units have been pretty sick. I've had so much fun using the Valkyrie girl. The Spice, she should have had a passive. When the Yang comes out, Metroid her. You know, the Slime collab should have bring back so much more enjoyment as well. Maybe you lot can get the old Slime characters with new Holy War Relic systems too. I don't know, man, boys. Thank you for watching. We'll see where it goes from here. And, uh, yeah, hopefully this... They don't do anything more because well, it's become a monthly thing now, apparently. I made one a month ago about Barn. I don't want to keep on doing this, but... Hopefully people don't quit. That's what I'm trying to say. Boys, thank you for watching and peace.